When I was a young child to later teen, my parents were drug addicts. It wasn't always easy making ends meet. The electricity and the water would get cut off for extended periods of time. There was a time where it was a year. We lived without electricity and water. You see, my parents isolated themselves off from the world quite a bit. And it left me and my siblings alone. And that's all, that's all we had was each other. But of course, as we got older, we grew apart when my sister left. She went to go live with my grandmother. And that left me to take care of my younger brother. It wasn't always easy taking care of him. And it was really hard on my mental health with everything that was going on and everything that was coming back to me. I, su I suffered a lot from depression and anxiety and a lot of bad memories from when I was a young child. And everything's hitting me all at once at the prime age of 14 and having to take care of him on top of that was even harder. Having to take care of him is not my responsibility. It was my parents. But they were on drugs and they didn't know what the heck was going on in the world. They didn't have jobs, they didn't have a car. So I was left in charge of feeding him, taking care of him, and making sure we got to school on time. One day, the cops came to the house. The cops came and picked up my mom. She had multiple unpaid tickets, dating years and years back, and a felony to her name. Those three months that she spent in jail was a blessing in disguise. It got my mother and my father clean. My mother wasn't around my father, so my father got clean. He was sad and depressed that she was gone, that she he didn't come out of his room. He isolated himself off from the whole entire world and ignored his kids. My mother was in jail and she would not let us go visit her in jail. She didn't want us to see her there. So we never got to see her for three months. We didn't get to see our mother. But in the end, it was a blessing. It was a blessing because after she got out, we decided to move. Move to a new town that didn't know us, that didn't have as many drugs, didn't have as many druggies, people who didn't know my parents. That was a main reason why we moved. The second reason why we moved was because the town that we lived in was hard to live in. What I mean by that is housing cost unbelievable. The electricity cost is so high and water is so high too. And there wasn't any jobs there. So we moved and my mother and my father both found a job. Now in life, we can afford things. Four years later, we can afford nice things. I am 18 now. We can afford electricity, water, internet, even a phone that I do not have to pay for. I now have the privilege of internet and a phone that I don't have to pay for, and a car I didn't have to pay for, and insurance I don't have to pay for. All because my mother spent three months in jail. The only reason why I am where I am now is because it, because my mother went to jail and my they both got clean, no drugs. I, most people don't really think about things that are like, they grew up with water, electricity, internet, phones, you know, playstations, xboxes, all these things and they have a privileged life. And they should be very grateful for it because like me and a lot of kids that are in the same exact situation I was in didn't have the privilege and it breaks my heart every single day to think there are still kids living that way or there are still kids that grew up and had to do everything on their own without their parents support because their parents couldn't get off drugs and I was one of the lucky ones that their parents managed to get out of drugs 
and start over. Because not a lot of people get to do that. I nearly grew up, I nearly gave up on family growing up. Especially my immediate family. The family that I live with. My mother, my father, my sister, my brother. I do not tell them. I will, I tell my mother and my father that I love them. But it took me a long time for me to do that. And it took me a long time for me to even hug them. But I do not, I still to this day cannot tell my brother or my sister that I love them or that I can hug them. Because it makes me so uncomfortable because growing up so isolated, I wasn't used to affection as a kid. I don't like my extended family. Why? Because they didn't help me. They didn't reach out to kids that are were in dire need of these like necessities of water transportation, food, electricity to get to school and homework and everything like that. I do not like my extended family and it's wrong. It may be wrong to say, but I grew, I'm growing to love my immediate family. The only reason why I ever, I thought they gave up on me was because they, I felt like they didn't care. My mental health was going so bad and so far down that I was drowning and I felt like they couldn't see it. It wasn't always easy, but now they pay attention more and they ask if I'm okay. They ask all these things now and I'm very grateful for that. I feel like they care about me now and I'm going to accept them and let them in more. The only thing I could ever ever say is do not give up on your family because they did not give up on you. There was just a few bumps in the road that happened because they have their own lives and their own problems too.